Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing this look that is on my eyes right now. It is inspired by this picture of Shelby. You can see it. Yeah, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. Um, it's not the exact same, but yeah, it's pretty much what I got like my inspiration from and what I was going for. Um, obviously the lid shade is different because she used sort of like a rose gold and I used like kind of like a, I don't know, kind of like a goldish tint to it. But yeah, um, I really love how it came out. I love how smoky it is. And also I don't think she used black. I can't necessarily tell, but I used black so that it, got, it could be smokier and yeah. But I really like how it came out and then I matched it with a lip like this um sort of tried to match it up as close to the lip on in the picture but yeah i think that's all that i have to say so if you want to know how to get this recreation of shelby's look then just keep on watching <laughs> hey guys welcome back to my channel um <laughs> today we are going to be doing this look right here um it's a super like reddish black smoky eye but it's also like a, it's a halo eye obviously the middle is carved out but yeah um it's actually a recreation of shelby trigala's i think i think that's how you say her name but yeah it's pretty much a recreation of this picture right here yeah um i use a little bit of different colors obviously as you can you can tell hers is a little bit of rose gold on the middle and mine's a little bit different but pretty much everything else um, I try to get spot on but obviously I may not have every color that she has correct but I tried to do with what I have sorry I'm dropping things already but yeah so I did this eye off camera just cuz you know I take a long time and this video does not need to be 400 years long so yeah okay <laughs> um first i am going to my eyes are already primed well my eyes are already primed um and i did my brows off camera because yeah they're hard to do sometimes so i would rather not spend another 400 years on my brows but i'm gonna take a real gar from the modern renaissance palette which is this color right here and i'm hitting pan on it and i'm so upset um but yeah I'm just going to put this in my crease and on the inner and outer corners so we can start the halo eye effect. I'm going to turn to the side so you guys can see better. Now I'm going to jump into red ochre which is this med, med, this red middle shade right here in the palette. And I'm going to do the same thing. In the picture, um, this is pretty much like her crease. And then she um, adds like the darker black um, or brown. I don't know if she uses. It doesn't look like she technically uses black, but I use a little bit of black. So, yeah. Okay, now I'm going to go into my Tartlet in Bloom palette, and I'm going to take this shade right here. It's called Rebel, and I'm going to put this right where I put Red Ochre. Mostly just this inner corner right here, because I don't want it to get too messy. Hold on. Sorry, I need a drink. <laughs> now I'm going to go into um <laughs> leader from the Tarlet and Bloom palette. Just like this red brick shade. And I'm gonna start to darken up um the outer and inner corners. I'm going to slowly bring that into my crease 
when I have not as much product on my brush. And then bring it over to my inner corner. I'm just going to keep doing that until I like... I swear I just burped. Oh my gosh. I'm actually going to go back into Rebel and a little bit of Red Ochre and this same MAC 224 brush and to take this little shader brush. I obviously used it for the other eye. I am going to first take Leader on this so I can get a little bit more precise um, to where I want to be the darkest at. In case I went too far up. Okay, now I'm going to take that same brush and I'm going to dip into Activist, which is this dark shade right here. I'm going to do the same thing I just did with Leader, just to deepen this inner corner up. Okay, so now that we have that laid down, I'm actually going to blend. Actually, just kidding. Um, I just added a little bit more of Activist in my inner corner, and now I'm going to take a little bit of Rebel and Red Ochre and blend just a little bit, just like that. Now I'm going to take the black, actually, just kidding, I'm going to blend, I'm going to blend these edges. Blending the edges of the eyeshadow. There's something in my eye. Ah. Uh, okay. I don't have time for it, so we're gonna have to deal with it later. <laughs> That's guys in person. I am. Okay. I'm gonna take this small little tapered brush, and I'm gonna dip into Licorice from my Summer Sweet Chocolate Bar Palette. This palette is sad. This palette is very sad. Let's not talk about it because I used all that. I used all that this one broke and I used all that so it's been very loved but it's embarrassing I'm gonna dip into the black a little bit of product and then go back in I'm gonna start with the inner corner I'm just gonna take that where I put all the previous shades Why do I say just like that? I hate when I say just like that. I'm so sorry. I just, I like edit my videos and I listen to myself and I hear just like that and I'm like, it makes me cringe. Okay, now I'm just gonna take my MAC 224 and just blend. Not too much because I don't want to take that pigment away from the black, but just enough for it to blend. I'm gonna go back in with that brush that I had the black on, get a little bit more and Go to my outer corner. And I just uh, brought it up a little bit because this one was up a lot more. So I'm going to go back into red ochre and just go over this so we keep that red shade that we want. Now I'm going to take that Luxie 205 brush and just blend all of this. Um, I'm actually practically legally blind, so I really can't see a lot of what's going on here. Um, and, uh, yeah. So, this could probably look a lot worse than, uh, I think. But, you know what? We're just going with it. It's totally fine. Whatever. Okay, I'm just gonna take this brush. It's super small. And it's usually what I cut my crease with. So, I'm just going to cut out the middle of this Halo eye, I'm just going to take it a little bit bigger than it already is. And I'm not going all the way up to my crease because I have hooded eyes, so 
it always ends up transferring in my crease so I'm going to try and keep it as low as possible. Now I'm just filling in my stomach is growing. That's cute. I'm just going to keep it to right about there. Um, and now I'm just filling in the middle. Now I'm going to take my Luxie. Actually, no, I'm not. Just kidding. I'm going to take... Where's the brush at? Right here. Right in front of my face like it was before. <laughs> I'm going to take this brush that I set my eyes with. And I'm going to take Flower Child, which is this shade right here. In the Tarte Light and Bloom palette. And I'm just going to take that on this brush and set this concealer. See, look it. It's already in my crease. Great. Great. I should, should have looked up. See, look. That's why I can't do this. My life's a mess. Here we go. Crisis averted. <laughs> okay. Now I'm going to take this little shader packing brush, you know. You know the deal. And I'm going to take Bon Bon, which is this color right here, in this palette. It's kind of like a pinkish. I don't know how to describe it. But I'm going to put this down as a base first for this. And then I ran out of all of my NYX mixing medium, so I'm going to use lash glue like a, a boss. And... Um, yeah, so I'm just going to put this all over the center of my lid. Just let that dry for a second, just to get tacky. Oh, my nose. Why is my nose itching? My I went to California this weekend, which is where I'm originally from. And uh, my allergies were insane. It's horrible. Anyways, if you're wondering what I'm drinking, I'm drinking an ice cream tea latte. And today I went to Target to pick up my mom's prescription. So I went to the Starbucks in there. And the lady was like, have you ever tried it with vanilla? And I was like, no, actually I haven't. Like, I just, you know, just order it, you know? <laughs> and then she was like, you should totally try it. That's how I drink it. So I got it and it's freaking amazing and I love it. So much. I rarely just started drinking these green tea lattes and I'm obsessed. Yeah, but enough of that. Okay, I'm gonna take <laughs> I'm like talking about Starbucks drinks. This is not that video, Taylor. Okay. I'm gonna take the NYX pigment in <laughs> I thought it was pig thir one I mean pig thirteen, but <laughs> it's actually called Old Hollywood. And I'm just going to sort of pout some, pout, I'm going to pat some into the lid. And then I'm going to take that same packing brush and I'm going to stick it in. And I'm going to set the pigment where I put the lash glue. And then at this point, you can go back in if you like see any thing that needs to be blended or, you know. But I'm going to go back in with the black. Okay. Um, I'm going to pop my other lash on and finish the rest of my face. And I will be back to do the outro. Um, yeah, I'm not quite sure what I want to do with the lower lash lines, so I don't think I'll show that part, but yeah, it's probably going to just be the same colors on the bottom. I have not decided, but alright guys, I will see you in just a few seconds. Okay, bye. Hey guys, welcome back. I, I should won't say welcome myself back, but I finished my face off camera. I popped my lash on. Um, I, yeah, and I added a lip color. I just pretty much used Tansy from ColourPop. It's a satin liquid, satin lipstick. 
<laughs> and then I topped it with Velvet Teddy from MAC so that it was a little bit pinker because in Shelby's picture it wasn't as brown as Tansy was so yeah but I think that's it this is the completed look I hope that you enjoyed um the inspo is really from Shelby's picture and yeah Thank you guys so much for watching. Please go show Shelby's page some love. Obviously, you already are. I'm pretty sure. I mean, who doesn't know her and who doesn't love her? But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe and like on your way out. And if you want to follow me on any of my social medias, they will be down in the description box below. You can follow me on Snapchat, Twitter, and Instagram. But yeah, I think that's all I have to say for now. And I hope that you guys enjoyed once again. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!